Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be playing the top 5 best Goblin Stein decks in Clash Royale. I actually have this deck right here. It is a log bait deck. Actually a very, very nice deck right here with the Goblin Stein in it in place of my old Mighty Miner. Goblin Stein actually works really, really well in log bait, surprisingly. Didn't really expect it to, but it's actually very nice. You have some solid defense with it and you have some solid ways to attack as well. So it's going to be the first deck that I'm showing here. Really, really good start for me too. I think I should just cycle my Princess in the back on the left side. I have next Ice Spirit Evo already as well, so beautiful start. Probably couldn't have asked for anything better, honestly. Wait, hold up, guys. This is actually going to be a really good demonstration of how good the card is. I'm going to Goblin Stein in the back here, and you guys are going to see it's going to kill the whole Night Witch behind the P.E.K.K.A. Maybe not like the P.E.K.K.A., but it's actually going to pretty much fry everything. Like, look at this. I'm going to pop the ability right now. I didn't even hit the Night Witch initially, but look, everything's just gone. <laughs> Goblin Stein is actually so broken, and you guys can probably see why it's literally good in pretty much every single deck, and he calls it a good game, and that's Tower Down. Let's go. <laughs> Easiest start to the video I've probably ever had. I'll see you guys in the next match. Let's go. We're in the next match here up against Kachero. Just going to go for the Drill plus Spear Goblins here to start off. The, the second deck we're going to be playing is going to be Magic Archer, Drill, Tornado with the Goblin Stein. Goblin Stein is best paired with the Tornado, so obviously having it in a deck like this is very nice. And since you don't have the Cannoneer Tower in this deck anymore because of the huge nerf that it got, it's very nice to have a tank. Before, you were only able to get away with not having a tank because you have the Cannoneer. So now, Goblin Stein is genuinely the perfect fit for this deck. It actually works very, very well in the, in the deck that I'm playing right now. I'll just go for it at the bridge. Gonna be kind of hard for him to stop this, actually. He has a P.E.K.K.A. I'm gonna pop the ability right now. It's gonna damage the P.E.K.K.A. It's gonna damage the tower. Already, extremely good start. Pretty much kills the entire P.E.K.K.A. And I got basically a 800 damage on the tower. I'll send in a Goblin Drill here as well. Beautiful Goblin Drill. He's pretty low on Elixir. Oh, bad night too. Let's go. I'll log that. Nice. <laughs> okay. Just gonna get to the Evo Skeletons here as well. Man, this deck right here, this deck might be my favorite deck out of all the decks in today's video, by the way, other than Logbait, of course, but whenever I talk about my favorite decks, I feel like I kind of exclude, like, exclude Logbait without even thinking, because obviously Logbait's going to be my favorite deck, but, like, I always think of like, my favorite non-Logbait deck, because I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory. Okay, I can Evo Drill here, and I think I should get the tower right here. Maybe if I don't get the tower, I should get quite a lot of the tower. Evo Goblin Drill did get it kind of a nerf slash rework, but... I still think that it's very, very strong anyways, especially because the goblin on the side now, like the side drill always spawns at least one goblin now, which is great. I'll magic archer here, then I can go for the Evo Skellies. He will have to go for a spell on top of those. I have my goblin stein ready. Okay, yeah, I'll goblin stein last second. I don't know if I even need it, but I'll just drop it just in case. Oh, nice. Okay, last second drop. Didn't fully need it, but I'll take it. This should be a really good pusher. Now, I don't know how he's going to defend the goblin stein either. What I've noticed is that a lot of the time it just gets to the tower and there's nothing people can do about it. Oh, beautiful NATO ability right there. Let's go. That's tower down. <laughs> nice. See, that's why the card is paired so well with NATO. Everything people put in the middle to snipe it, you're able just to, to, to tornado into it, kind of like it, how you would an E-Giant. But Goblinstein is actually ridiculous, man. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but Goblinstein even survives Fireball plus Zap. Survives a shot from the P.E.K.K.A absolutely unbelievable card but it's a lot of fun to play with honestly but it's very tedious to go up against that is going to be good game though so i will see you guys with the next deck the next deck i'm going to be playing here is going to be this goblin drill goblin stein deck and honestly i really like this one too i feel like this is shaping out to be a really nice cycle meta that i really enjoy i feel like a lot of the broken cycle decks people have just replaced the old nerfed cards that kind of made the deck fall out of the meta kind of bringing them back into the meta just with like the new broken goblin stein i'm gonna go for the drill here this one's a bit unique though you don't have any ranged card other than the cannon like how you would like maybe like an archer queen or i guess a little prince but even little prince was kind of like the goblin stein in a way of like you didn't need a tank and a range card when you had lp because i mean it kind of works as a two and one so you have room for an extra cycle card so you just have an extremely quick cycle with this deck especially paired with the champion three card cycle man this deck is insane actually i'm gonna ice spear you, you you can just cycle so many drills in such, in such a short amount of time 
Dude, my stutter's back, man. I feel like sometimes my stutter goes away, but then sometimes it could just like, it just comes back so badly, man, and it's so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna drill them fire spirit quickly. I'm already basically back to another drill. Yeah, I'm gonna Evo Skellies on defense, and I'm already back to a drill. Nice. It's the Evo as well. I think I'll just go for it right away, and then maybe I'll go for the Ice Spirit as well. Hopefully the Ice Spirit could take out that cannon, or at least block it at the worst. Yeah, it's gonna jump and block it too. Nice, let's go. Pretty nice damage there. Does force out the Evo Skeletons. I guess it kind of sucks that the Evo Drill doesn't do all three spawn and damages anymore. Makes it a bit harder to, like, spell cycle, I guess. W what do you even call that spell cycle? I guess chip their tower out. It's a bit harder. You do have Fireball in this deck over the Poison because it's very nice to just pair with the Drills. Especially now that the Drill doesn't say where it's going anymore. A lot of people are kind of, like relying on swarms to defend the goblin drill again like how they used to so it's very nice to just fireball them off instantly and even knock them back away from it he, he does have the evil firecracker but i'm not going to predict it i don't think he'll go for it oh man okay i was thinking that he might not go for it just because of how obvious it was but i should have just expected it from a guy who started the match by bming straight away <laughs> i've noticed a common theme with the people who bm as soon as the match starts they're usually pretty bad i can get a nice ability off here though nice it's a ton of damage that ability actually does so much damage. I don't know how much it is exactly, but it's actually, like, I think, like, 400, 500. It's an insane amount if you reach the guy to the tower. Okay. I think I think I won. Even if he gets some damage here, it doesn't even matter. Okay, yeah, good EQ, but I can just go for the fireball and the firecracker, Evo Skellies, and then log. And look at him, bro. He's already BMing, thinking that he won. Like, dude, you're a clown. You did not win. You even missed your log. What a straight clown, man. Actually completely BMing early, missing his spells. Don't say I miss my spells in the comments, but playing like trash. <laughs> just crazy, man. Just a crazy guy. Easiest win of my life. And I'll see you guys with the fourth deck. We're in the next match here up against TNT. Just going to log here. The next deck we're going to be playing is going to be this Piggy's Earthquake Cycle deck. Just with the Goblin Stein in place of the Archer Queen. Actually works out very nicely because... With the Goblin Stein's ability, you have some solid air defense, actually. It doesn't look solid, but it's actually very solid air defense. And then the deck kind of struggles with air anyway, so it's kind of all right. Bro, what? Wait, it's level 12. My boost potion ran out. Oh, no, man. I'm actually going to have an underleveled card for just this match right here, unfortunately. And then I can boost it again. Oops. Um, But it works out very well. And since the deck doesn't have, like, a tank normally like you have an archer queen or like an lp you don't have like a regular tank having the goblin stein is very nice to just have like a an, an extra tank and have like a real tanky unit even though it doesn't do too much on defense like it's kind of just like a meat shield like a meatball i guess but it's still nice to have i can piggies right away he's very low on elixir kind of went way too aggressive right there i'll take it though very very good start let's go all he had was arrows i could even goblin stein the bridge and i think it will be tower down if i do right I think I'll wait until I hit 7 so I have enough for the ability. Okay. I do have Evo Ice Spirit as well for defense. I did already waste my Evo Skeletons. Okay. Pop the ability. Actually, I don't even need to. That's going to be Tower Down because he messed up his wizard. <laughs> really bad wizard by the man TNT. I'll just cycle my cannon in the middle. Okay, he's still spamming me. I'll log here. Bro, what the heck is this guy even doing? I'll just Skellies too. I'm going to save my Evo Ice Spirit. There's no really point to waste it. I feel like wasting it would just... I don't even know, man. I could maybe throw the game. I'll just piggies here on the King Tower. I'm going to Evo Ice Spirit too. This should be a good game. Okay, no, he's not giving up. Okay. Bro, come on, man. This guy needs to give up. And you guys can see, even at level 12, the strength is insane. We're at level 14 cap because I'm in the league number 7, but it's actually insane how good it is even two levels under max. Maybe that's what it should be normally. Okay, I'm going to deliver here. Bro, chill out, dude. Chill out. You're not in there. I'm going to go for the Goblin Stein. Oh, no. I messed up a bit. I put it a bit too high up. I meant to have the Meat Shield uh, tank for the Goblins, but I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm still getting used to the placements, honestly, because, I mean, these are only my first few games with the card, actually. I played it a little bit yesterday on stream, but not really that much, I would say. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to pop the ability and go for the Evo Skellies. Ice Spirit in front. Okay, not bad. Only took one hit. This should be good game. <laughs> Bro, he, he just put the bats right into the beam. <laughs> this is going to be a good game, so I'll see you guys in the next match with the next deck. Alright, with the final deck here, we are going to be playing with Lumberloon Freeze with the Goblin Stein. Goblin Stein just pairs so good with the Nato Man. It's actually very hard for people to be able to defend 
this card plus lumber loon nato and like e drags and stuff like that just because everything they try to use on defense just gets sucked into the nato completely i don't even know what to call it like electrified or something like that but they just get completely like zapped man kick and block the void here i think this guy is an e golem player so looks like evo pecky e golem that one deck from last season kind of a toxic deck but it's fine i'll pop the ability here take out that wizard beautiful ability man just showing how broken this card is i think i can just lumber loon the bridge the only counter for air he should have right now is night witch if he has night witch in his deck i think he does yeah he knows he can't defend so he goes for a tower trade we are going to end up trading towers here which kind of sucks but it's fine i'll bomber force out the arrows then i think i can just bowler to make sure that i don't take too much damage on my king tower goblin stun wouldn't really do too much all right yeah i'll bowler here I wonder if I froze on the King Tower if I would have three crowned him. I don't think so, though. I don't really think so. Yeah, 3,000 HP, no way it would have got, like, I think I needed, yeah, four more hits. Nah, no way. Okay. Wait, hold up. I'm going to Goblin Stein Lumberjack on the King Tower. Hold up. Wait, he may have just three crowned himself. Hold up. Hold up. I could pop the ability right now. Get, get a nice ability on the King Tower. Nice. It's a ton of damage. And that, and that big, fat, beefy guy, too. Okay, wait, I have an idea. I'm going to freeze the Evo Pekka, and then I'm going to go for the Evo Bomber on it. Because I, I can just hit the King Tower. Wait, he wizarded. I'm going to Evo Bomber the wizard. Oh my god, he's three crowned. <laughs> Let's go. Easy. Truly the easiest win of my life. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. Because the game I played with Logbait for the video, I guess, was very quick. I'm going to play again right now because I kind of felt bad that, like, I mean, it was like a one minute, 20 second game. So... I, I feel like I could maybe better showcase that the deck is really good and not just the Goblin Stein itself being super good. I mean, it is super good, but I also just want to play again, honestly, because I have a lot of fun with Log Bay anyways. Okay, I'm going to Goblin Stein here, and I don't think any of you guys would really complain like, oh, he won too quick, he's playing with the deck again. I mean, if you do, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I can go for a Goblin Braille here. Looks like he's playing Minor Cycle. I guess maybe Minor Poison Cycle. May, may, maybe minor rocket could be nate's deck but i don't really think so but there's a good chance though because if he had poison he'd probably have the tesla right okay i'm gonna log here already back to the barrel okay gonna goblins bro i never catch miners man it's actually so annoying i'm gonna princess here too just quickly get back okay nice forced up the log as well those goblins should get quite a decent bit of damage unless he oh he goes for the ice spear okay i think i'll goblin stein I want to be really, really aggressive in a matchup like this with the Goblin Stein because if he doesn't have Inferno Tower, my Goblin Stein, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think it's guaranteed to get to the tower because he can't log on it because he can only Ice Spirit. And I'm pretty sure Dark Prince plus Ice Spirit won't actually take out the monster before it gets to the tower because remember, guys, it doesn't need to get to the tower. I mean, it does need to hit the tower. It just needs to get to the tower, so... It's actually like extremely good in that sense, because if it gets to the tower, I can just hit the button and I get like 600 damage. I have goblins ready. Okay, we're going to goblins here. Dude, I never catch it, man. I swear. I'm going to crash out. Okay, wait. I'm going to evo barrel here in a second. I think I'll cannon first. I, I want to set up a good evo barrel. If, if I waste it, I don't know. That would be kind of bad. I'll evo ice spirit evo barrel here. Wait, that was bad by him. He's very low. I'm going to princess too. Nice. It's a lot of damage on the left, and that's some good princess damage on the right. I'm going to goblin stein here. Yep, I'm going to Goblins, going to Barrel immediately. He has no delivery and no log. He does have Evo Skellies. That's why I put it in the front because I'm going to Evo Skellies in the back. Okay, I'm going to log right away. Take those out. Nice. Really good damage right there. I'm up a, about a Rocket. I'm up a bit more than, than a Rocket, I think. Ice Spirit here. Just keep abusing my three-card cycle because the, the longer I have the Goblin Stein down, the longer I get extra Barrels. Ice Spirit here. Catch that. Nice. Very good damage on the left again. I'm actually destroying him. And I'm already back to another Goblin Barrel. I'm going to just Evo Barrel right now. He won't be able to defend both sides. I don't think he has enough. Let's go. Very nice damage. We can Evo Ice Spirit here. And even though I don't really want to, it's fine. It's fine. Then I think I just need to get another Goblin Stein in the back. And just the amount of pressure I can put off with this deck right away is actually insane. Just get having that Goblin Stein down, getting it down, and getting that three-card cycle makes it so hard. Yeah, he rockets it, but... It's fine. I'll goblins here log, and then I can go for another ice spear on top of the dark prince. I don't know why I've been having so much trouble speaking today. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I don't know. I feel so dumb right now. I've been having such a hard time speaking for some reason. I literally speak every day, all day, and I'm just having such a hard time, man. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, I'm going to goblin stein at the bridge here. He has no inferno tower. He's going to have to cycle back. And a cannon here. Going to go for the ice spear as well. 
keep that alive. Wait, hold up. Pop the ability. I think I might get a decent bit of damage before it dies. Nice. I got one tick. I think that was worth the damage, though. Nice. The monster's beating up the tower. I'm going to rocket here. I just need one more rocket. <laughs> Bro, this card is actually insane. But I think you guys can see the nice synergy that the Goblin Stein actually has in this deck. It's actually extremely nice. Defends very well. And that will be good game. I'll see you guys in the next match. Alright guys, I'm also playing another match with this deck. I didn't actually know that I was going to need to play a match again with two decks, but I will be. Um, okay, just going to E-Drag here, I guess. He has Giant Skelly Archer. It's kind of a weird deck by him. Okay, I'll Bowler in the back too. This deck is a bit more slow than all of the other decks, but I feel like all it takes is one big push sometimes. I feel like sometimes if they have like way too much swarm, then sometimes this can be a bit hard because I feel like not having the Barbarian Barrel is kind of annoying in this deck sometimes, but you do have the Evo Bomber to make up for it somewhat, I guess. Bro, like how am I ever supposed to know he has that, bro? <laughs> Come on, man, this game is not real. I'm just gonna Goblin Stein Balloon at the bridge. I don't even care. Like he has Wizard, Ar bro, Wizard, Archers, Ice Wizard. How many air cards do you have, bro? Dude, someone needs to take this guy's phone away, man. Come on, give me a hit. Give me a hit, bro. Please, please, please. Okay, good. Give me two. Give me two. Give me two. Okay, that, that's good damage anyways. I'll take it. But, dude, this guy's a million air cards. Archer's Ice Wiz, Evil Wizard, and then he just whips out a random clone to pair with his giant skeleton and get a nice bomb on the tower. Like, that. Like don't get me wrong. That was well played, but, like, where the heck did that come from? Like, how was I supposed to know he had that? Okay. At least that should be all the air cards he has. So, if I build up one really big push, I should be able to break through. Maybe, I mean. I don't, I don't even fully know, to be honest. Giant Skelly is kind of good for him because I don't have, like, an Inferno Dragon or anything like that to, like, melt it right away. Kind of takes me a bit to deal with that. I'm going to Lumberjack because I feel like he might try to get a sneaky clone down. I'm not risking it, man. I'm not risking it, dude. He already got me once. He's not going to get me twice. At least I hope not. I'll just Goblin Stein in the back. Did use his wizard. He used his ice wizard. So I might be able to go in here, actually. Never mind. He's all in at the bridge. <laughs> I'm just going to pop the ability here, man. That should take out both of the skelly barrels and the bandit. Beautiful ability. Look at this card, man. So strong. So good. I'm going to balloon again. All right. I'm going to nato that wizard opposite lane. Bro, the evil archers are actually going to save him. Th that was well played, but damn, bro. Come on. Th th there's just no way, bro. There's just no way. I'm going to scream, bro. I'm going to scream. Dude, he's definitely gonna go for the uh go for the clone. Yeah, freeze that up. I'm gonna go for the lumberjack. Chill, chill, bro. This is so weird. I feel like this is one one of those decks where if I knew the whole deck before facing it, I would be just fine. But I feel like because I'm just like learning it as it goes, I'm actually having such a hard time when I feel like I shouldn't be having such a hard time. <laughs> I'm just not really playing that great because I'm just so confused right now by what the heck this deck even is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get a nice Evo Bomber lineup. I'm gonna pop the ability here, take out that bandit. I think. Come on, take it out, take it out. Okay, nice. Wait, I, I can Evo Bomber here on that Ice Wizard All Bowler here, then you're gonna get an Evo Bomber down. Nice. How is that not splashing the tower? You're trolling. I'm gonna freeze that, take it out. Oh, please take out the rest, please take out the rest. Okay, I'm gonna have to NATO this back, because he might clone. There we go, we're good. Can't even go in again, bro, like... I feel like there's no good opportunities for me to loon if I don't cross the bridge, and it's so hard to cross the bridge against that giant skelly man when he has so many air cards killing all of my support units, or even my, like, bowler or my lumberjack. Okay, I'm gonna Goblin Stein again. I'm gonna need to get the ability off for defense again. Bro, he even has minions. I, I just noticed that. He even has minions. Minions, Ice Wizard, Evil Archers, and Evil Wizard. Like, excuse me, actually ban this guy, bro. Ban the sky off of Clash Trail immediately, man. I'm going to freeze. All right. Hopefully, I can take off that wizard, man. Come on, bro. Come on. All right. I'm going to NATO everything. Oh, my lord. <laughs> there goes the Evo E-Drag doing what it does best. Just straight dominating. Evo E-Drag just dominating, man. I'm going to bomber here. I have my freeze ready. Okay, I'm going to freeze this. No way I don't get through here, right? There's absolutely no way I don't get I'm not going to get a hit. I'm just going to get a death bomb. There's no way, bro. Come on. Get through, man. I do have my evil bomber. Oh, no. The evil archer snipe. The evil archer snipe. I'm going to NATO this backwards. He might try to clone. Okay, beautiful. Perfectly timed NATO. Going to lumberjack here. I'm going to freeze, too. I'm not taking any risks, man. I'm not playing no games. Bro, this deck is not real. At, at least I have evil bomber. I think I could finish it out with an evil bomber. I'm going to get a balloon down. I have NATO freeze. I'm going to NATO this opposite lane. Come on. Get away. Get away. Come on. Ability. Ability. I think I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's go. GG's.
Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.